Hey folks! In this video we are going to make a cabinet to accommodate all the violins that I have hanging here in the workshop. So here's a little bit of a voiceover narration, because I started this video in August 2019. I went to the lumberyard and got some boards, and uh, they were mostly unfinished wood, so I have to also glue them together and finish them because it's a lot cheaper than buying very large, very big, finished lumber. And after that got done, other projects came in and this cabinet got just put in the back burner and forgot completely about until now, which is around March 2020. And that's where we are picking up the work. It's been several months since the start of this video. I started it in late summer and now it's early spring. And all the spring things are going on around the world right now. With everybody staying home with the epidemic going on, so it's a good time to finish this project. And uh, so our boards are nice and glued together, now it's time to make the surface look all nice and finished and pretty so it can be used as furniture. And I don't have a surface planer, so it's gonna have to do. You almost can tell that this is two boards glued together. So I have a peculiar problem here. I made the plans for this violin cabinet about five months ago, and I don't remember exactly how I was going to make it, other than it's a box. So I have to think for a moment, how is it that I'm going to put it together? All right, I think I figured the skinnier board has to be cut and stacked a couple more times, and I think this are going to be the sides and they're fine as they are. Now that these are cut to size, I can match them however I want, glue them together, and I'll have the sides for the cabinet. These boards, they had a couple of defects that will need some filling. A neat trick to make your own wood filler is to mix a bunch of wood glue with some sawdust. In this case I'm going to use sanding dust because it's what I have most of. I saved it while working on it. And this will make your own wood filler of the same wood that you're working with. We're supposed to be staying at home because of everything going on in the world out there right now and only going out to buy essential items. So I'm going to attempt to make a back for the cabinet with these pieces of uh, birch plywood that I have around here so I don't have to go out and buy a piece for the back. The way these are going to be glued, first I'm going to glue them vertically where the duct tape is right now that's going to work as a hinge and then i'm going to glue it horizontally three hours later
the next day. There you go, just need to sand it, maybe stain it to even out the color and that should do the job. So up to now we've been just turning those mostly unfinished boards into something pretty and that we can use. But now comes the interesting part. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the router to cut a groove here, just a shallow groove and another one on this side. This is just for the sake of alignment of the side panels, for my own sake, so it's easier for me to put it together. Then this is going to have a sliding door, two sliding doors. And uh, then I will use the router to also cut a groove here where the door is going to travel and the other one will be here where the other door is going to travel. What, you really thought there was going to be a project that didn't involve hand sanding? the next day. Three days later. Right, so the cabinet part is done now and uh, I have to make the doors for it. They're going to be just square frames with a glass in the center. I had this long piece of wood left over from cutting the side panels. I thought it was going to be sufficient to make the doors, but it's not long enough. I need more. So I need to process some more wood. Now that they have been all measured and marked, I need to do a bunch of 45 degrees cuts. At least I get a nice sunset at the end of the workday. 
Now we need to cut a step here, which is where the glass for the door is gonna go. And I could just take this to the router, but I want to save the actual piece of wood that comes out of there, because that's what's going to hold the glass in from the inside. To glue these at the correct angle, I've made a hinge with uh, masking tape that will allow me to line it up. And I'm going to glue them two at a time and then glue it all together again. For the pools for the door, I decided I'm going to use plain simply super glue because it's convenient. originally going to make a little thing to hold the glass in place with little pieces of wood that I would nail it in place but I figured I'll just make my life easier this time and just put a bit of silicone and that will hold it well and it'll be fine. I'm gonna hang the violins in here. But the same way I'm hanging them right now. So I'm gonna take one of these wire shelves and do some slight modifications to it. And to hold the wire shelf in place I'm going to use these little hooks. It's finally done! It took forever, but it's finally finished. Still have to install it. These need to go somewhere safe first. It's done! It's finally done! <laughs> so, thank you for coming along. This one definitely is going to be a long video. I will try to make it concise. And uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.